Welcome to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, a game that has become such a special part of all-star festivities. And that's really because it always provides us with such an entertaining look at the next generation of NBA stars. In a game like this where the pressure's off and it's all about having fun, I think we really get an opportunity to see just how skilled these young players are. Exactly. I mean, nobody's going to get on top of you if you go behind your back or you try something out of the ordinary. And that means we get to see these young guys pull off some amazing plays in this game every year. And now the opening lineup for Team World. We've got Alperon Shangoon. Wagner is out there with Kuminko. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Duarte in a two guard. First team foul. On defense, USA. Up top, Giddy. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Second personal foul. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. Free throw good from Giddy. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. And I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. And USA making a change here. Islands check in. And it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Here's Ben Carroll. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. You know, I know his NBA career is, is just starting out, but he has been logging some veteran minutes in the regular season. Well, in his short time in the league, Greg, he's earned the full confidence of the coaching staff. They're not afraid to use him in any situation. To the paint, here's Mobley, and the layup falls. He brought the big stage, these young guys around tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. Down to five on the shot clock. That's tipped. Barnes passes to Highland. We looking it over. The pass to Green. Van Carroll with the ball. Kaminga on him. Van Carroll, that's good. We've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. From down in the low post, it goes. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Inside, here's Ben Carroll. And what a strong finish from Ben Carroll. These guys love when he throws it down. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, Kaminga with a wide open look. And they get it back. Here's Giddy. Wagner outside. There's a screen. Shoots over Mobley. And that one's good, Wagner. Wagner knows how to handle his business inside, mainly due to how much confidence he brings to the court. Outside, Green. Pass to Highland. Here he goes. Mobley, the pass to Highland. Rebound by Team World. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing. 
but they don't want to chance that again. Now here's Giddy. That doesn't go on the chance to top. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter, still trying to find his rhythm. And here's Van Caro. He's got six. Passes it to Highland. Mobley a screen on Giddy. The offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. And Mobley lays it in. Mobley's got his second best. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Wagner. Back to Giddy. And stolen by Barnes. Here's Highland. Giddy defending. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First personal foul. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for your USA. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Marie's checked in for Ben Carroll. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's Duarte. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Rejected by Murray. And that length and timing make Keegan at a terrific <laughs> shot block. Ivy's checked in for USA. And it's Team World with the ball. They trail by six. Daniels passes to Orte with some arc. Two free throws USA coming foul. up, and they call the shooting foul. Evan Mobley. First personal foul. And a look at how Three the offensive foul. approach has been going here so far at for USA. Everything Out working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. The free throw dropped for Shangu. That's good as he hits both of his shots. USA leading by four. Here's Highland. From past the arc. Offensive rebound. Mobley makes it off the glass. Mobley's got six. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now that they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's Sohan. Sweet move. Mobley with the block. Last time. USA moving the ball around. Murray kicks to Ivy. Here's the three. Highlands shot is good. Five points in the game. Yeah, a natural score. Ivy is developing into a tremendous playmaker. 
The pass to Sohan. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Ivy. To the middle and stolen by Shangun. Now, here's Sharp. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And Daniels up top. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. That's on Keegan Murray. Team foul. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The yeah, if you're going to foul, world. then make sure that That's you don't give a chance for the and one. Two shots. Team World shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First one, and USA making a change here. Murphy's checked in, and a change for Team World. Thomas is checked in. Second free throw, no good. USA with it. They're on a 17 to 7 run. Here's Ivy. Murray outside. Pass to Highland. Shot clock at five. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. You know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. Here's Thomas, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Keegan Murray. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. First trip to the line for him here. Thomas taking two shots. throw good Thomas and team wide they've been terrific from the line here just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next he makes one of two that time and Murray's got the ball here for USA Seven point differential. Mobley is screen. USA with another miss. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. Going inside. Rejected by Murray. And he's able to get it back. A nice shot by Sohan. USA leading by five. Passes to Murphy. To the wing right side. Here's Ivy. A second chance effort. Two eight, two eight, two eight. He's now one for two with that bucket. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Now here's Thomas. The ten footer finds the target. Two points, Cameron Thomas. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter. Murray outside. And here's Ivy. Mobley is screened. Ivy dishes to Mobley. Shoots a fader. Almost, but it rolls out. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Thomas, no good. Now, here is Murphy. He's covered by Daniels. 
Or if he passes to Ivy. Here's Highland. Mobley is screened. Highland's shot is good. Highland's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for USA. Pass to Sharp. Mobley with the block. And it's out of bounds. Team World will retain possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Jackson, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And the pass to Sohan. Four on the clock. No good on the triple. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Murray a screen on Thomas. On the wing, Jackson. Here's Highland. He's covered by Daniels. It's good on the putback. And it's a 10-point USA lead. I like their focus coming in to terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. It's the three-point five. And that concludes the first that quarter of play. USA leads by seven. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. 17. It at the Rising Stars Challenge tonight. None of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game. And that excitement comes out onto the court. Light on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight. And that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. So, Team World's five right now. Alperin Shangoon out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then it's Franz Wagner. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Duarte in at the shooting guard. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So, good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. Cunningham for three. It doesn't go for him. And Team World will come the other way. Out to the right wing. Kaminga. He's off on that one. Good D by Barnes. USA leading by seven. Cunningham kicks to Jackson. Pass to Cunningham. USA moving the ball around. Jackson dishes to Green. Just five to shoot. There's the three. The kick out to Cunningham. No good from outside. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Passes it to Giddy. And here is Kaminga. Over Barnes. And he overshot that one, missing. I think in that situation, that was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. Green finds Cunningham. Got a piece of it. And just a little more defense in this game than we're used to seeing. Yeah, and I like to see that, quite honestly. I mean, they're battling hard at both ends right now. Van Carroll's checked in for USA. Barnes. Four on the shot clock. 
It's tipped. And, and you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. Now, here's Wagner. Connects on the open J. Wagner's got his second bucket of the night. Wagner knows how to pick and pop. Sets a solid screen and then gets out of it quickly into the roll to his shooting spot. Cunningham against Giddy. Van Carroll with the ball. Six points for him. Now Cunningham. USA with another miss. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. Giddy the pass to Wagner. Here's Shangun, guarded by Jackson. Shangun with the ball. Jackson on him. And that's going to be a travel. USA ball. And USA ball. Mobley's checked in. Mobley. USA leading by five. Cunningham passes to Barnes. To the inside. It's stolen by Kaminga. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Giddy. Up top, Shengu. Right wing, five on the clock. Offensive rebound. And tip it goes, jamming that one home. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, GA, he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. So it's USA now, following the bucket by Team World. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. He's off on the second. Team World trails by four. And there's the pass to Giddy. Stolen by Barnes. And now USA on the plate. Barnes got the ball. And that one is good. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. And now the first time out called here for Team World. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. I think this time out, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots.
Here's Kaminga. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Giddy the pass to Wagner. Back to Giddy. Hit by Kaminga. Five to shoot. It's stolen by Van Carroll. Pass to Cunningham. Down low. Seven foot shot. Bank shot. No good. Boy, great effort on defense there against a the guy who typically makes that. Wagner outside. Barnes grabs the miss. And it's Barnes with the ball for USA. Passes it to Cunningham. Outside, Green. Shot from 16. Shangun with the rebound. Shangun's got six rebounds in the game. Now here's Giddy. Wagner outside. Here's the three. A shot. No good. USA leading by six. Cunningham looking it over. The dish to Van Carroll. Outside green. It's blocked. RJ passes to Kaminga to end the cold streak, and the layup is good. And the defense no fact, which is why he simply laid it in. So it's USA now. Timeout. Only given up six here in this quarter. So timeout called here, the first for USA. Platoon swap here for Team Checked in. Team World trails by four. Pass to Sharp. High arcing shot, and he lays it up and in. Oh, nice job executing inside. Sharp's confidence is what makes him such a dangerous player. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Now, here's Ivy. Yep, it counts. 
Ivy's got his second bucket. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And it's blocked, and he keeps control of the ball. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Here is Daniels. Here's the pass to Thomas. It's hauled in by USA. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Murray looking around. Out to the wing. Six to shoot. Highland knocks down the three ball. Highland's got 11 points. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Back to Daniels. Pass to Thomas. Launches a three. Highland with the rebound. Kevin, you can understand the shot selection. I mean, he wanted to go back at him, and this came up short on the triple. Yep, that one goes in there. And now a nine-point USA lead. Almost impossible to guard Murray inside in college. We'll see if that translates to the NBA. We've got 123 left in the first half of the game. Evan Mobley. Second for Team ball. World, they have gone first six of eight from the free throw line tonight. At the line for Team World, Shaden Sharp. At the line for two. free throw missing and all the talent in the world that's what made sharp the seventh overall pick in a fairly deep draft jackson he's checked in for evan mobley and he sinks the second so it's usa now they're leading by eight. Island passes to Murphy. There's the lob to Jackson. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Right side, Thomas. Team World with another miss. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Here's Highland. 11 points in the game. Another three for USA. Now he's drained two threes in each quarter so far. And here is Thomas. Into the lane. The rebound by Ivy. Ivy's got his fifth rebound in this one. Fires from deep. A shot missing, and Team World will come the other way. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Murphy against Thomas. Just five on the clock over Murphy. Again, Thomas missing. Murray with it. They will lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And we'll be back with you shortly.
glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. Welcome back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. We've got Cunningham. Bancaro up there with Scotty Bond. Then there's Jalen Green. And it's Mobley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Mobley a screen on Giddy. Cunningham's shot is off. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Barnes passes to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And, guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. Now, here's Wagner. Feeds to Kaminga. Good ball movement here by Team World. Here's Giddy. And he gets the jumper to drop. Giddy's got six points. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for USA. Mobley outside. He dishes it to Green. The kick out to Barnes. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Team World trails by 11. Wagner passes to Giddy. Now here's Kaminga. And Barnes sends it back. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Mobley. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Shot clock at six. Giddy finds Kaminga. Team World needs to get off a shot. Over Bancaro. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. Pass to Cunningham. Got a hand on it. Wagner, so good with his hands, but he's a smart defender, too. Positioned himself well to come away with that block. Pass to Giddy. To the inside. Duarte, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. A strong two to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Here's Cunningham, following the bucket by Team World. USA needs to get off a shot. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And Team World calls time here.
right around three minutes into the second half. Kaminga the pass towards A. Here's Giddy. Wagner with a screen for Giddy. Five to shoot. Now the pass towards A. Deep two from Wagner. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Inside, Barnes. And it's Barnes spinning it down. That's just good fundamentals from Cunningham. When a guy is that open, you got to get it to him. Now, Giddy. He's got six. Team World with another miss. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. Barnes outside. Mobley sets the pick for Green. Rebound by Team World. Shingun's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. They grab their own miss. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Barnes. Rebound by Team World. Shingun's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Giddy against Cunningham. Here's Giddy. Kicks to Kaminga. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Kaminga's got his second basket of the night. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. And here's Green outside. Rebound by Team World. And the team has gotten it done here in spite of his performance. Still over from the field. Wagner outside. Shot clock at five. Back to Giddy. Releases. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. USA leading by 10. Bancaro dishes to Cunningham. Barnes outside. And it's good for two. Barnes has got four points this quarter. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. And Team World calls time here. It's a completely new group for USA. Team World making some changes.
team world trails by 12. Back to Daniels. Pass to Sharp. This one for three. Team World with another miss. USA leading by 12. Here's Highland. Traps in the tray. Highland's got 17. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now, here's Thomas. Six points for him. And that one, good. Two points. Eight, Eight points for him. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Murray outside. Pocket six. He kicks to Ivy. Passes to Highland. It's Murphy outside. The rebound by Shaw. Team World trails by 13. That shot misses. So USA will take it the other way. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Nice pass. Run him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Jackson's got his second basket of the night. Jackson's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Pass to Sharp. The pass to Sohan. And Daniels up top. And misses it off the right side of the rim. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. Now, here's Ivy. Fires for three. And it's Daniels with the rebound. Team World trails by 15. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 158 left to play in the third. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Highland. To the wing on the left. It's Murphy outside. And it's Daniels with the rebound. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Passes it to Sohan. Outside for Thomas. From 11 feet away. And the rejection by Jackson. There's a lob to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, great pass from Murray. I like whenever he looks to get his guys involved. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Thomas. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got seven rebounds in the game. There's 48 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Highland. 17 points in the game. A fadeaway. Off the left rim and out. That's one he knows he should have drank. And here's Daniels. They set the screen. Trying to end the drought. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Keegan Murray. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much of in there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Shooting two. He's off on the first. Yeah. 
so he comes up empty at the line. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for USA. 17-point lead, their biggest. Tries to save it, and Ball's out of bounds as Team World Team gains World possession. Ball. Here's Thomas. He's got eight. Sinks that one from the post. Two points. Thomas got four points now in the quarter. Well, I love watching him carve his way inside and capitalize. And in USA, their lead at 15 going into the break. Their defense has been active and effective. And we'll be right back after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play. And they are putting on a show. So, Team World's five right now. About there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then it's Alperin Shangun. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Duarte in at the two-guard position. Here's Duarte. Paolo Bancaro making his last shot. Back to Giddy. And Barnes sends it back. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Van Carroll kicks to Barnes. Banked in off the glass. Two points. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle starts for USA. They made a point to protect the rim. Challenging shots all came long, and the block total is off the charts. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. Six to shoot. Fires the three. And it's sharp missing. USA leading by 19 points. To the middle. And Mobley throws it down. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Here's Duarte. That's tipped. And when Bonquero turns it up, he can be a factor at the defensive end. Here's Highland. Giddy defending. Barnes passes to Mobley. Let's it go. And there's Bancaro on the assist by Mobley. And that's 10 points for Paolo Bancaro. Mobley. On offense, here's Team World. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. Marge passes to Giddy. Will it go? And the basket is good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Van Carroll. We know, Greg, the league trending towards small ball, but some teams are having success playing two bigs up front. And I think the key is having versatile big men. If they can space the floor and play in space, also be able to cover smaller players, why not get the added rebounding and rim protection? Here's Sharp, pass to Arte. And here is Giddy, six on the shot clock, stolen. Van Carroll with the ball. Just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Highland. It's deflected, and so it looks like it's still USA's ball. 
Green, he's checked in for USA. And a change for Team World. Wagner's checked in for Sharp. Five on the clock. Mobley a screen on Giddy. It's rebounded by Giddy. Giddy's got four rebounds now tonight. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Duarte passes to Kaminga. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Green inside the three-point line. They get the rebound. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. First personal foul. First team And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay. But the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs. It's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play in and the playoff. Something to think about. Here's Duarte. And the pass to Giddy. Down low. Shingu. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Yeah. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small in his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Now, here's Cunningham on the wing. Green. Back to Cunningham. Shot clock at six. And it's blocked. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Here's Duarte. Pass to Giddy. Wagner with a screen for Giddy. Six to shoot. Over Cunningham. Giddy, no good. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Fades back. That one off the back iron and out. Clearly, the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. And Kaminga throws it down. You've got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now, here's Cunningham. Shot from 12. And finished off by Bancaro. Oh, love that. Bancaro moves so well with and without the ball. Bancaro's gone a terrific 6 of 8 shooting from the floor. And Team World calls Team time World here. Calls time. And for coaches' challenges, the refs review their own call. It's a little like grading your own test. Maybe, Greg, give that job to the review center. You, you definitely risk a confirmation bias, and, and everyone wants to be right. It, it does seem like some calls stand that probably could be reversed.
Giddy against Cunningham. It's blocked. Kaminga kicks to Giddy. And three off the mark. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Man, it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Now, here's Green. Here's Ben Kelly. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. And he's shooting 78%. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. Here's Wagner. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the game. Now a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initials, like KD or AD or KG. Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. Initials excluded. That might spark some creativity. Two shots. That's good from Green. Hey, it's hard not to gush about Green. I mean, he's one of the more exciting talents to enter this league in, in quite some time. And USA with some changes. Jackson, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. Murray comes in for Bancaro. And Ivy subbed in for Cunningham. Sharps checked in for Team World. And he makes the first but misses the second. And Wagner's got the ball here for Team World. Wagner has screen on Barnes. Kaminga. It's hauled in by USA. Jackson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Ivy passes to Murray. Kicks to Ivy. USA moving the ball around. Throws it up high. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Shangun. Now, Giddy passes it to Wagner. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. <laughs> Get ourselves fired up. You guys? Personal foul. Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> Josh Giddy. Taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the first two shots. And USA making a change here. Cunningham's checked in. the second free throw good now USA with it they're on a 16 to 7 run pass to Murray and here is Barnes to the left side wing Murray dishes to Jackson just five to shoot minutes remaining that's a two from Cunningham and that one comes up a bit short. One forty-nine left to play here in the fourth. On the wing, Giddy. Count it from 12. Giddy. Giddy's got five points now this quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. Barnes against Thomas. Releases. That one rolling around and runs out. One fifteen left here in the fourth quarter. Rejected by Murray. The pass to Shengu.
inside. Stolen by Jackson. Giddy against Cunningham. Pass to Ivy. Now Barnes. Clock at six. Murray sets a screen for Barnes. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Thomas, no good. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Murray kicks to Ivy, passes it to Barnes. Dishes to Jackson. Cunningham outside. No dice from the high post. So USA wins it. USA can't say enough about how well all these young men have competed here tonight. A great show for the fans and a clear picture of just how many talented up and comers we have here in the NBA. Great, no doubt. There are some future greats among the players we saw here tonight, and we're pleased to have brought you all the action. So now for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan saying good night, everyone.